My name is Steve Kaplan. I live in Florida now. About three years ago now, I went, my doctor told me I had not had a blood test recently and one of the tests which I'd never heard of is called the A1C, which is a three month average, was twice the normal amount for a, a, a diagnosis of diabetes, it was an 11. I later found out that if I needed an operation, hospitals would not operate on me because my blood sugar was too high and it would be too dangerous. Since it was such a severe and extreme diagnosis, I went to a specialist and explained to him why I thought my numbers were so high and what I had started to do about it, which was go on a diet to lose weight, but not a diet to get healthy. And he said, well, you know, if you lose weight, it'll help a little bit. And that, that's one of the main factors and a little exercise, but you'll probably need the medication for the rest of your life. If you're lucky, you won't need to take needles and insulin. And I have a mortal fear of needles. And when I came here in June, June 4th, 2017, I dove into the program. I did not have any idea that it was a raw vegan retreat and came here not knowing what I was getting myself into. And the first surprise was the amount of education that I received. The lectures were extraordinarily informative, teaching me things that I never thought of. This is a place that emphasizes three things, nutrition, digestion, and lack of sugar. I noticed my digestion immediately improved. One of the other things was I had never had before a colonic. And that was an experience to be able to get everything out of my colon and clear it out and start over. One of the things they really stress here is exercise. I'm in the best shape I've been in in 20 years. And in fact, each time I come here, something new happens. And something happened this trip that hadn't happened in 25 years. You could tell now, I tuck my shirt into my pants. I've been medication free since September of 2017. My A1C had dropped from 11 down to 5.3. 5.6 is, you better be careful, you, you are susceptible to getting diabetes and I'm at a 5.3, which would never have mentioned it to me. My blood pressure was normal. My cholesterol was about 167. Uh, the total cholesterol under 200 is no medication. One of the things I heard when I came here was people come here and they don't like the food, but they do it because it's good for them. Then if they come back, all of a sudden the food tastes good. And that's what happened to me. And they asked, did you get a different chef? And it's still the same chef. And I remembered hearing that, so when the food tasted good, I knew I was getting used to it. And all it was was giving myself time to change my attitude, change my mentality, change my lifestyle. And this is the type of lifestyle I want. I don't want to go back to the other lifestyle. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying preparing the foods. I enjoy making the green juice every morning. I drink the wheatgrass, two to four ounces every morning. On Saturdays, I go buy my sprouts, my wheatgrass, and then I have it for a week. It's, it's an activity that I enjoy. I still get to shop. Technically, somebody could say, well, I could do this diet on my own. For me, I would not have been able to succeed doing this on my own. The key for me was coming here, being part of a community, discussing the, the diet, the lifestyle, the health, being with the people, making lifelong friends, and I'm scheduled to be back for Thanksgiving in November for three weeks, and I can't wait. I wish it was November now.